Ooh, baby! How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Mike, and welcome back to episode 13 of my Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Today, we're going to be making our way over to Fuchsia City in our hopes to get our fifth gym badge in this randomized run. But first, before we can do that, we need to get rid of this sleeping Snorlax. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Poke Flutes and wake up this guy and get him out of the way. Alright, so now that Snorlax is out of the way, and I'm excited to go down to Fuchsia City this way. Last episode, we almost made it to Fuchsia City. However, I decided I'm going to go from both angles, because this way gives us some more encounters. We're going to get an encounter on Route 12, I believe one on Route 13, maybe on 14, and maybe on 15 as well. So that could be up to four new encounters. This, uh, this episode, which is something that we really, really would like. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna go, I guess we'll have to battle this little fisherman over here. What's biting? Well, you tell me. What's biting? I don't have a fishing rod in this game, unfortunately. I wish Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee had fishing rods, and that's kind of weird. An engineer with a fishing rod. I can't really picture that. Oh, there they are again, the Alolan BGs, except this time they're not shiny. They still do have those luscious locks though, and wow, the Pokemon over here are kind of high leveled. I didn't do any extra training, so we're still at the same levels that we are from the last episode, so hopefully we won't run into too much trouble. Whoa! Even through a bulk up, we took him out. Good job, Chewbacca. Wow! Now hopefully you can do the same thing to this Cloyster over here. Let's see how strong you are. I told you guys, Chewbacca is an awesome Pokemon. He just has such good coverage. Oh no, where do you even get the mushroom from? Are you storing mushrooms inside of your shell? Where does that come from? Well, let's go ahead, let's wake him up. I do have some awakenings. Luckily, I should have stocked up on some more awakenings. Also, before I started this episode, I did do a little shopping trip because we were very low on Pokeballs. So I bought myself some Ultra Balls because now we actually can buy those and some Hyper Potions, which are gonna be great and very useful in this episode. Uh. See, everybody says 13 is an unlucky number, and I'm starting to believe it. Although I'm hoping it's not too unlucky, because I don't want to lose anybody this episode. We're going to make 13 into our lucky number. Wake up. Oh, wow, look at that. There we go. Starting off with the luck right away, dodging that Mega Horn. And let's give him the Thunder Punch to knock out this Cloister. Very good job, Chewbacca. Very, very good job. I am so proud of you. You beat Engineer Andrew, and he's only giving us Pokeballs? Come on, we're kind of like in the middle of the game right now, and you're still just giving out regular Pokeballs? What's in here? I think this is where you got a fishing rod in one of the older games. There's some old dude staring out the window. Uh, I'm... Who in the world am I? Bah, it's no use. I can't remember anything. Huh? Hmm, do you think you could tell me who I might be? What is Mr. Dazzling? You're Mr. Dazzling. I'm Mr. Dazzling. That is such a wonderful ring to it. I'm Mr. Dazzling. Oh, cool. He gives me Dazzling Gleam. That's awesome. So yeah, it's a nice, powerful fairy type move, but nobody I'm using right now can learn it. So I guess that was okay. Maybe it'll come in handy in the future. But anyway, let's keep going. We've got our trusty Articuno following us around. Not going to talk to that guy. I don't know what he's doing over there. Uh, there's a dude. Whoa, I was checking out the dude with the megaphone. I'm searching for a Moonstone. Have you found one? No, no I haven't, but I think you could find those in Mount Moon. Youngster Justin. Justin Timberlake, Justin Bieber. Ooh, Justin has a Zapdos. Zapdos versus Chewbacca. Should I stay in here? Because I feel like he could have a flying move. This could be dangerous. Uh, wow. There we go again. See, my team is very, very weak to electric. I'm going to switch in Anakin here just because if it has a flying type move or anything, I don't want Chewbacca taking that. I know Anakin should be able to do decent against whoever he wants to throw at me. Okay, Thunderbolt. We could have stayed in and hit him with something super effective. Wow, that does a lot to me, though. We could have stayed in, but I didn't want to risk it. We're not risking it. We're not getting any biscuits for risking it in this episode. Ooh, that does nothing. We really need the TM for Psychic soon. Whoa, Nelly. I'm not liking that at all. All right, time to test out one of those super hyper potions. Let's go for it. Heal up Anakin back to full health, taking on a legendary bird. I would love to send in my own legendary bird, but I don't think he would do too well in this scenario. Yow. Okay. This should buy us a little bit of time for me to use some more side beams. Bang, hit him with that side beam. Nice. 
And one more should do it, although that Thunderbolt is kind of scary. Yow. Alright, if this Psybeam doesn't take him out, we might lose Anakin. But I have faith in Anakin. Anakin, knock out this Zapdos. Very good. Very good. That's what we needed right there. Okay, hopefully the second Pokemon is a little easier than a Zapdos. We can't take out two Legendaries right now. Yay, Anakin's level 39, though. Anybody else leveling up? No. Ooh, Arcanine. Luckily, though, we do have answers for Arcanine. So let's bring out Yoda for that one. Ooh, or Phasma would be pretty good here, too. But I think I want to use Yoda. Okay, he's going for Fire Blast. Hopefully we can take that. Well, ooh. These moves are powerful. Now that we're only fighting against, like, fully evolved Pokemon and Pokemon that don't have evolutions, everything is a little bit more scary. But our team is up for the show. What in the- No, 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 no. Please don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill- ah! No! No, Yoda. <laughs> Why? Why does that thing have Thunderbolts? Why? Why did it have Thunderbolt? Have you ever seen an Arcanine with Thunderbolt before? No! Wow. I was considering sending out Phasma too, but Phasma would have just died there as well. That's terrible. Wow, Youngster Justin, you're terrible. I can't believe that. You just took out Yoda. That's a shame, Yoda. I really liked you. Oh, we have our own. That's kind of funny. No. Ugh. I guess I'll bring Lando onto the team for now, just because he has a decent level. Mm, rest in peace, Yoda. Rest in peace. That's rough. And since we have a long journey ahead of us, I'm going to heal up Anakin a little bit, too. Wow, we're off to a rough start already. These battles are tough. Ugh. But we get an item over here. Not bad. An awakening. That's the worst way to go. That really is. Ooh, are those Pokemon down there? What was that? Ooh, baby! Ooh! Ooh, let's get it! 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 Oh, yes, 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 I want that. Give me that right now. Oh, yes! Moltres! That's the second legendary bird. Oh, my gosh. I will take it. I will take it. Let's go! Oh, that's what I need right now. Losing Yoda, but we get a legendary bird. Please get in the first ball, first ball. No. Okay, is it going to be annoying like the other legendary bird? Oh my gosh. That... This brought me up really quickly. I was really sad about losing Yoda, but hey, if we get a Moltres... I'm so glad I bought Ultra Balls right before this. Let's go. Ugh. Alright, this is Ultra Ball number 3. Legendary Pokemon like Moltres can be very annoying to catch, so this might take like 30 Ultra Balls. We got kind of, uh, we got kind of lucky with Articuno last time. But will we get lucky with the Moltres? Two. Nope. Come on, Moltres, don't be too tough. We just lost a really important member of the team. I need something to cheer me up, and I think you can do it. One. Ooh, that is awesome. I was not expecting at all to find the legendary Pokemon on this route. That is so weird. That's what I love about like just randomized runs, especially Let's Go, because you could like kind of choose your encounter. There were four Pokemon on the screen there, but I'm going for the Moltres. I'm going for the big legendary chicken. One, two. Are we going to be able to catch this thing, though? Maybe I should have gone for something a little easier just so we'd be able to catch it. Ugh. I don't know if the legendary birds can run from you. That would suck, because we had quite a few Pokemon run from us already, and I don't want that to happen here. Three? Ah, oh, I get so excited when it shakes to three. I think in some of the other Pokemon games, if you got, like, three shakes, it would just automatically catch it so you wouldn't get disappointed by it breaking out on the last one. Watch, it's gonna break out again. Yup, there it is. Come on. Come on, we need you, Moltres. Wait, how did that not go through? Didn't that hit it? I could have sworn that hit it. How did that not work? One. Two. Three. Oh. No, let's try a Great Ball for good luck. Let's mix it up. 
Let's mix it up, because we wasted 13 Ultra Balls already on this thing. Let's try Great Balls. Maybe it likes Great Balls better. Come on, buddy, we need you. We know it doesn't like Great Balls. All right, we're going back to Ultra Balls. Come on, come back to the center. Nice. That wasn't even a nice throw. That was... Wow. It didn't think so either. <laughs> come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. All these Ultra Balls. Mm. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is gonna be the one. This is the ball, guys. I know it. One. Two. Three. Oh. That would've looked so good. That would've looked crazy. I would've been like a psychic if I actually called that one. One. Two. I'm gonna need to buy more Ultra Balls after this. Two. Three. Yes! There we go! We got ourselves a Moltres! Alright, since we just lost one Jedi Master, I'm gonna name Moltres Windu after Mace Windu, and I guess I'll replace Lando with him right now. As much as I like having Moltres, I really don't see the point of having two fire flying Pokemon on my team, and I really like Dooku, so I might put away Moltres later on in the episode. Let's see what it knows though. I'm sure it has better fire moves than, um, Dooku does. Yeah, it has Fire Spin, Flamethrower, I wish Dooku had that, and Air Slash. So its moveset is way better than Dooku's, but I just have, like, a special little loyalty to Dooku. So if, if I get another Pokemon, I might switch Windu off the team for now, but, you know, since we just lost somebody, Windu's gonna be on the team. And look, there's another one right down there. That's kind of funny. And Butterfree... Let's keep going, let's keep going. That was only our, wow, lots of mole traces over there. But anyway, that was only our first encounter. Is this another route right over here? Yes, I see Marowak over there, I see uh, Sea King, I see something. How do we get over there though? I think we need to battle you. That's another encounter right over there the second we get into that grass. I love this. If the Marowak's still there, I'll probably go for the Marowak. Because that would be a really cool Pokemon. Gentleman Lola, playing with his mustache over here. I'm Gentleman Lola. Needle Queen, okay. We can stay in against Needle Queen, I think. I think. Ice Punch wouldn't be terrible. I don't think Needle Queen can threaten us with a one shot, but we will find out shortly if it can. Oh, Outrage. That's an Outrage. That's not fun. Yeah, not threatening us too badly. As long as we don't get critted, we should be okay. So we'll go for another Ice Punch. A Freeze would be really nice here. Can we freeze it? Nope. Please don't crit. Oh, wow, 4 HP, that's scary. But we outspeed it, so we'll go for one more Ice Punch, we'll just finish it up, and then we are getting Chewie out of here. Nice job taking down that Neo Queen, Chewbacca, really good. Phasmus is level 37, awesome. And a Gold Bat. Something we should normally be able to take care of, but... But we're at low health. Uh, who should I swap in here? I could try out Wampa, although I really don't like the level difference. We'll just bring in Anakin. Anakin has two moves that are really good against it, so we'll just bring out Anakin. I'm so sad, so sad that Crobat is not in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Crobat is one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. It's really cool. But anyway, let's go for that Psy Beam. It's a little bit stronger just because of the stab bonus. And just missing out on the one. No! Oh! Oh my god, that gave me PTSD. Oh my god, we're not playing. Get out. Get out right now. Shoo, bye, out, out, no more. Hate those one-hit KO moves. Oh my gosh. Whoa, we just narrowly dodged death there. Oh my gosh. That's one of the scary things about being under-leveled in this game mode. If Pokemon have one-hit KO moves, they can use them. They can definitely use them. All right, well, we didn't die. I think we might have to battle this trainer over here once we get out of here, but it'll be worth it for, ooh, we can just dodge him. All right, is Marowak still there? Nope, I guess we will take the uh, Dugtrio then. That'll be our encounter. Let's go, Dugtrio. All right, that's a great throw. One, two, three. So close. 
I was hoping after that whole Moltres thing, the next Pokemon I would encounter would just be something easy to catch. But Dugtrio is pretty cool too, because Dugtrio does fill in like a niche that my team doesn't really uh, satisfy right now. Most of my team is weak to electric. This guy's immune to electric. So I would really like to have him. There we go, and we got him. Nice. Okay, so I figured I'd give a little representation to the spin-off Star Wars movies too, so Doug Trio is going to be named Jin after Jin Urso. So this is the team right now. Chewie really needs a heal. I guess I'll swap and use Anakin for now, and I'll use some potions on Chewie so he's at good health and everything. Alright, so we should be good now. Oh, and the Marowak spawns the seconds that I catch a Pokemon already. I would have really liked a Marowak. I think Marowak's a cool Pokemon, but whatever. Dugtrio is a really good Pokemon as well, too. So what is the quickest way to get through this little fence maze? And this is another thing that's kind of like impractical in the whole Kanto region. Why would you have a maze of fences? Why is this like an area that people just hang out in? My cute Pokemon wish to make your acquaintance. Well, I don't want to be acquaintance with your cute Pokemon. I just want to keep going. I want to get to Fuchsia City. Juggler Gwen. Juggler Gwen. They're juggling three Pokeballs, but they only have two. Whoa, Mega Pinsir. That guy looks awesome. What's not awesome, though, is Anakin against the Mega Pinsir. We're not playing around like that. Let's send out Dooku. Level 43. When did Dooku get so high levels? I don't even know when that happens. Come on out, Dooku. Mega Horn. Yeah, yeah, we are not staying in with Anakin against that. That would have not been fun. Instead, we'll go for Wing Attack, outspeeding it, and we should probably, oh wow, wow, that thing's really bulky. Takedown, okay, that'll help me out, actually. Hmm, I'm not liking this health range. I'm not liking it too much, but I think we could take whatever it wants to throw at us, at least one more hit, so I'll go for another Wing Attack just to weaken it a little bit more. It's probably gonna go for Takedown again. And as long as it doesn't crit, we're safe. Yep, we are safe. Dangerous, but we're gonna heal up. So let's go ahead, let's use ourselves a nice Hyper Potion. We're using a lot of potions this episode. We really are. You can see they're really necessary at this point in the game. So we're just taking so much damage, everybody's so rough. You don't see Mega Pinsir in your normal playthrough of Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Will that take itself out? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. That was really good. That was excellent. That is exactly what we wanted there. And the second Pokemon is going to be Butterfree. Be free, Butterfree. Bye-bye, Butterfree. Anyway, let's wing attack this thing and really make it go bye-bye. Oh, just missing out the one shot. I think we get the TM for Fire Punch somewhere around here. And Peck! Peck? What a terrible move. Peck. So late in the game. At least have, like, wing attack or sky attack like every other flying Pokemon seems to have. Get out of here, Butterfree. Bye-bye. Let's keep going. 712, anybody gonna level up here? Good going, you totally won. Thanks for the great balls, though. Okay. Aw, my Articuno's having a little trouble with the fences over here. Or maybe not, kind of fly right over them. Lots of trainers over there. Oh, wow, we went the wrong way. That sucks, I thought that was the right way. I'm getting lost in the maze, guys. Alright, so I guess we're gonna have to battle you. Do you want to battle some Pokemon with me? I guess so, I didn't really want to. But you're kind of standing in the way, so I guess I have to. Bug catcher Sheila. Oh, Sheila. Ooh, Electrode. That's something Anakin can stay in on. Ooh, or we could try out our new guy. Let's do it. Let's do it. Jin's kind of low leveled, and how much HP do you have? 69. Okay, maybe this is a bad idea. <laughs> maybe this is a bad idea. Probably shouldn't do it, but I like to live on the edge sometimes. Thunder! There we go. That's what I was going for. Now let's hit him with the dig. I think we're gonna outspeed it. Oh, God. Please don't kill. Jin, it was nice knowing you. It was nice knowing you. Alright, that's it. From this point on, I'm not playing around. No more just casual switching because I think that's like the second time or maybe even the third time that I just lost a Pokemon because I wanted to try other Pokemon out. That's not going to work anymore. That's clearly not going to cut it. Sometimes it's like I forget I'm playing a Nuzlocke and that if my Pokemon take hits, they kind of die. That's terrible. I hate losing Pokemon literally like the second that I get them. I'm so sorry, Jin. 
took me a while to come up with your name, and now you're already dead. Yoda and Jin this episode. Terrible. I guess Jin is just an unlucky name. Can't have Qui-Gon Jin. Can't have just regular old Jin. Oh well. Oh, this thing's so fast. And all those thunders. Am I gonna get paralyzed here? Oh wow. I kinda got lucky not getting paralyzed by all those thunders. And we got rid of them. We got rid of them. And Golem! Aw, rub it in my face, will ya? Okay. Phasma would be alright, but Phasma would have to take a super effective rock move, which we're not gonna do. So let's go for a Hyper Potion again. I hate using a bunch of potions in battles, but sometimes it's just the best move. I don't want to switch into like a rock slide. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to swap Gyarados into like a rock slide. That wouldn't be any fun for Phasma. So we'll go for Psybeam. I think Psybeam will just do a little bit more than Brick Break would. I want to say Golem's like special defense is a little bit lower than its physical defense. Wow, that does so much. That does so much. I got to use another one. Oh, these battles are rough. Another thing I could do is switch Chewbacca in here. Because Chewie, you know, resists the uh, rock moves. I might do that. We'll see. We'll see how much this side beam does. A crit will be great. Nope. But, you know, we actually don't need to do that. Because Anakin survived here. We'll just use one more side beam. And then we'll take him out. Bye-bye, Golem. Oh, this is rough, though. Jin. It's like I can't keep ground Pokemon. Every time I get one with the ground typing, unless it's, you know, Qui-Gon, they don't live long. Oh, well. It's over already? For me, that could not have been over fast enough. Well, goodbye, Jin. You... you were nice. Hmm... You know what? Let's try out Owen. We'll bring Owen back, give Owen some extra EXP. Probably won't use Owen at all in this episode if I can avoid it. But we'll see how things go. And we could dodge you. Nice. Don't want to battle any more trainers. Oh, I should probably heal up Anakin before I get into another battle. That would probably be a smart move. But yeah, we're running low on all sorts of potions right now. I'll use a super po uh, hyper potion just because I want to get Anakin back up to his full health as possible. And if I really need to get some more potions, I actually will. I don't want to have to go through this route all over again just to get back to this point. But if I have to do that, that's what I'll do. Is this the right way? Route 14? Okay. New encounter, maybe? More grass? Okay, Chansey. I see a uh, cloister. Oh, there's a trainer over there. I was so focused on that area over there, I didn't even look at the trainer. Anyway, if I can get over there, I'll probably go for... Wait a second, I have so many water types, but Chansey's not going to be that great for me. Because Chansey's just not a good attacker. Chansey's a good tank, don't get me wrong, but... Cloyster might just be more useful in the long run. Plus, he is a nice type, but again, that's actually really redundant. I don't need... that at all. So again, not the best encounters, but oh my gosh! Stop with the one-hit KO moves, they're so scary. I don't want to get hit by another one. Oh my gosh, please. Please, no one-hit KO moves. Oh, and Muck. Please be the regular one? Okay, good. Because the Alolan one gives uh, Anakin some problems. Regular one we could deal with. Not gonna be a one shot, but it'll be a two hit KO, which is nice enough for me. Don't, don't paralyze me, and don't do a lot of damage. Okay, we can't get everything. I think we'll still outspeed it though. Muck isn't really the fastest Pokemon. Oh, never mind, I'm wrong. And don't get fully paralyzed. Very nice. Very, very nice, Anakin. And we're almost at Fuchsia City. Almost there, just a little bit more to go. Nice job. Chewie's at level 41, and I knew it! What did you know? Okay, so we need to get to this grass over here. I think we're gonna have to battle that dude standing around no matter what we do. Oh, are there two trainers that we have to go through to get over here? Huh. 
you know what? In that case, if we have to go through two trainers, I'm just gonna fly back to the other town real quick, buy some more stuff, and heal up. All right, so we're back. The encounters changed over there. However, I think it actually got worse for me. I can't catch that Magikarp, so I guess Cloyster will have to be the Pokemon that I go for, which would kind of suck. However, it looks like they can move forward a little bit, so if they move forward just enough that I can encounter them, I won't have to battle that second trainer over there, which would be pretty nice in my favor because I don't want to have to do all these battles. Anyway, they're going to send out Beedrill. Luckily for me, it isn't Mega Beedrill. Because Mega Beedrill is a little bit more scary. And I think for this, I can just go for a good old Thunder Punch. Hopefully, it doesn't have anything too crazy for me. Leech Life. Oh, that's going to be actually powerful. Luckily for us, it doesn't really do that much. Chewy is surprisingly really tanky. Hmm. Yeah, that Leech Life is definitely going to make things annoying. So I can't... I'm going to have to switch out. I'm not liking this at all. It's just going to heal off a lot of the damage that I'm doing. Ooh, or, or we could try going for one more. We could try going for one more. That's what we'll do. We'll just go for a Thunder Punch one more time. It won't kill us. And let's find out. Is it going to hurt... Are we going to be able to hurt it enough to knock it out? Please do, because I would love to get rid of this thing. Very nice. Very nice, Chewy. Never ceases to amaze me, this guy. And the second Pokemon is going to be a Moltres! More legendary birds this episode. So many. Ugh. It's nice seeing them, but it's also kind of annoying fighting them because they're all really strong. Anyway, I think Anakin or Phasma would be alright here. If it's gonna go for a fire move, let's try out Phasma. I'm just worried about Thunderbolts. Again, it doesn't really get Thunderbolts, but because of the randomized movesets, I'm kind of scared to use Pokemon with, like, quad weaknesses. Okay, Fly. Fly's not too bad. Fly could definitely be worse. And I think we're gonna be slower than it, then I'll, I'll just go for Waterfall. So this actually kind of works out in my favor, I think that- Oh! Ooh, I don't know what I was talking about anymore. Alright, not bad. Now here, I'm gonna go for a Super Potion. Not liking my uh, my health at all, and if it goes for fly, this is actually the best case scenario for me. So let's try that out. Growl. <laughs> That's such a weird move coming from a Moltres. Okay, so I'll go for Waterfall now because of the Growl it might not kill, but I think this was the best play overall. Because it just keeps me safe, it keeps me alive, and that's what I need. I need my guys to stay alive. Don't want to lose anybody else. We lost two Pokemon this episode already, and I think that's enough for me. That really is enough for me. I don't want to lose anymore. We are running out of encounters. Soon we're going to be done with encounters. At some point, we'll just run out of all encounters, and we'll just be stuck with the Pokemon that we have. And at that point, you know, every Pokemon's going to matter a lot. So the more Pokemon we can preserve, the better. Okay, is this coming? No, 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 no. That's not my encounter. We can't catch anyway because I have Phasma. Now, will that Cloyster just come... I mean, Shelter, will it just come close enough so I don't have to battle this guy? Please come back over here. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Get away from him. He's a bad man. He's a bad man. Are you going back over there? Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! Yes! Sweet! Let's take it. And, you know, overall, I don't think this is too... bad. Because I'm not sure if... Cloyster is one of those Pokemon where once you evolve it, it doesn't learn any moves. So we'll have to check it out. We'll have to check it out. Nice. Very easy. Good catch. I'm liking this. We caught ourselves Shelder. All right, and Shelder is going to be known as Sidious. And I chose that name because, you know, it's kind of like it's hiding in the shell. Hiding in the background like Darth Sidious was in the Star Wars movies. I'm probably not going to use Sidious right now, but in the future we might have some potential, especially if I go get a Water Stone and I like what moves it can learn and everything. It has a good nature. It has adamant nature, so Waterfall will be really strong on it. But other than that, not exactly sure how we're going to use this guy. Ooh, nice. Hyper Potion. We can always use that. And I think there's one more encounter that we can get before we go into Fuchsia City. This has actually been a really nice episode because of all the encounters. And wow, so many trainers. So many trainers. Now, I think this is the route with the Coach Trainer that... Ooh, okay, I guess Seal is going to be our final encounter for the episode. And we get some Ultra Balls right before we encounter it, too. So many Water and Ice Pokemon. But Seal's a cool guy. Can't complain too much. Alright, is this going to be another easy catch? Two. 
Three, and yes, nice. And the final encounter will be Gardula the Seal. And this kind of gives us a little bit of a situation. We have a lot of water Pokemon and a lot of ice Pokemon. Owen, Phasma, Sidious, Gardula, and Wampa are all kind of like in the same boat where they're all like water or ice types. And that's kind of annoying with half of my Pokemon being that one type. And we also have Windu, Lando, and Dooku, which are all fire types, and two of them are also flying. So we have some bad weaknesses right now. So that just makes Anakin and Chewbacca like extra, extra, extra valuable at this point. And we've got to keep those two alive at all costs. But anyway, we want to find the coach trainer over here. I think there's a coach. Ooh, that would have been a nice Pokemon to have. But yes, that's the coach trainer up there. And I believe beating her will give me the TM for Fire Punch, which will finally, finally give Dooku a good fire move. It's been such a long time that we've had Dooku since the beginning. Wow, all those cool Pokemon, we couldn't get any of those. We had to get Seal. We had to get Seal. But anyway, it's been such a long time. We've had... Dooku right since the beginning and we never really had a good move a good fire move for Dooku so it'll be nice finally getting something decent for him so I'm gonna go ahead I'll use a uh, super potion on Chewbacca give him some HP Phasma why not why not we're almost at Fuchsia City so I don't want to lose anybody we'll battle you and then we'll finally get that good TM the trainers around here are all very strong that's right I've trained every single one of them I assume you'll you want to get strong shall I be your opponent yes let's go let's battle and give me that TM for fire punch now we're gonna lead off with Dooku beauty Mitch we're gonna lead off with Dooku because this is his honorary moment this is where he has to prove himself Okay, so not a terrible matchup. I'm gonna go for Fire Spin here, just for that residual damage. That'll be really important for this battle, and wow, that Clefable is way higher leveled than way higher level than anything I have. Kinesis, what does that move do again? I rarely see that move. It bends spoons, but what else does it do? <laughs> Accuracy fell. Why? Why must you do something like that? That's so cheesy. Don't do that. Don't ever do that. Yeah, Wing Attack is doing nothing, and it's going for Sharpen as well. Kinesis and Sharpen. Do you have any physical moves to back that up, though, is the question. And here's where we can see why Fire Spin, in my eyes, is at least a little bit better than Ember for these long battles. Oh, wow. Okay, that's kind of weird. So you lowered my accuracy, then you roared me out, so I'd have to switch into something else. Okay, this isn't too bad. I'll take it. We'll go for good old Waterfall here, get some damage on you. Love the animation, and it's almost gonna take it out. We got the flinch! Nice! Oh wait, Fire Spin doesn't work anymore? Oh, that's annoying. Anyway, this'll take him out. Nice job. Good teamwork, guys. Love seeing my Pokemon work together like this. And Clefable is down. Dooku's at level 44. Wow. Wampa's at 35. I'll take it. I'll take it. And Zapdos! Wait, did we see all the birds this episode? I mean, I have an Articuno. Level 45, too. Uh. I have an Articuno, I have a Moltres, and this is Zapdos. So I guess we saw all the birds this episode. It's annoying. I guess the only guy that we really could bring in here is Anakin. This might be a tough battle. Anybody else is going to take, like, super effective electric moves. Chewie isn't strong enough, in my opinion, for this fight. So I'll go for Psybeam, see how much that does. Mirror move. So, he might be trying to copy my own Psybeam, which I would take, you know? I would like that, because it's not going to do that much to me. Shouldn't, anyway. Zapdos using Psybeam, so weird. Let me show you what a real Psybeam is like, Zapdos. Give it to him, Anakin. Alright, two more of those, and we should have the TM for Fire Punch all to ourselves. Slam! Alright, let's go. Critic Confusion will be great, but I guess not. And this should be it. Final side Beam, and we'll take him out. Oh, he's going for that mirror move again. It didn't really work out that well for you the first time. Don't think it's going to be much better the second time. There we go. Taking out the legendary bird, Zapdos. Bye-bye, Zapdos. Get out of my house. Get off my screen. Now I've trained you too. Ooh, thank you for the money. Thank you so much for the money. I see the flame of potential in you. Let me give you a TM worthy of your skill. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Sweet. All right, let's go ahead and teach that to Charizard right away. Dooku, you deserve this. 
You deserve this so much. Boot up the TM. Choose a move to, choose a move to be replaced. Oh, but your physical attack is terrible. It's so bad. I guess I'll just get rid of Brick Break. I don't even know if it's going to be much better. So we really need Flamethrower. But Fire Punch is okay for now. I was hoping this would be better. Okay, well, I guess we're done over here. Looks like Golbat was also over here. Kangaskhan, Geodudes, more of those terrible snakes that run from me. Guess those are going to be it. Nothing too crazy over here. Lots of seals. So let's make our way over to Fuchsia City. Keep going past all these trainers. Ooh. And get an item up here. TM47 Surf. Ooh, that's actually really good. Yeah, considering I would half the Pokemon I own are water types, Surf is definitely a really good TM to pick up here. And yes, we made it to Fuchsia City alive. Unfortunately, we lost two Pokemon, but we caught four Pokemon. So that's an overall net of like plus two Pokemon by going on that whole adventure over there. So in my eyes, that was definitely worth it. We have a lot of water types now, which might come back to hurt us later, but it's great being here. And that just shows you, it's really important for me to train up my Pokemon. So for the next episode, if we're going to fight the gym, I'm definitely going to train up Owen and Wampa, maybe a few other guys, just a little bit, so we'll stand more of a chance against Koga, because Koga is going to be a tough gym leader for us, a very tough gym leader for us. And we're going to need our best Pokemon with their best moves and best powers to take out that gym leader and earn ourselves our fifth badge. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed it. 13 wasn't too terrible to us, and hopefully episode 14 will be great for us as well. As always, thanks for watching, and guys, I'll be seeing you in the next one.